What's up guys, Ryan with the MXG channel again, finally back with some Can-Am motorcycle news. That's right, if you've been living under a rock or you missed the first announcement, um, BRP and Can-Am are going to make motorcycles again. If you're not familiar with some of the history, um, it was kind of before my time, but I know that Can-Am made really good motorcycles back in the day. Can-Am was never just about building a motorcycle. It was about doing things our own way. A passionate group of engineers, riders, and rebels. Creating the unexpected. Pushing the limits of what's actually possible. BRP bought Can-Am. Um, BRP dropped the Can-Am name in 1987 and then brought it back in like 2006 or seven. Started making uh, you know quads and side-by-sides and uh, stuff like that. So apparently now they're gonna use the Can-Am branding to make motorcycles again. And we saw a like a teaser photo of some of these motorcycles um, back when I dropped this last video. And most of them did look like street bikes, but we could see there was clearly one adventure bike there, which really interests me and some of you on this channel. And yesterday we got a drop of some really good photos of the first two models to come out, and it's pretty exciting. These models are called the Origin and the Pulse. And uh, the Pulse is clearly just a, you know some type of commuter street bike. Um, but the origin is super interesting to my family on YouTube here because it's clearly, you know, an adventure bike. And uh, you can tell that by looking at it right off the glance. It's got that rally style fairing. If you first glance at it, the first thing I think about is Tenere 700. So we've seen the bikes now, but we, we won't really learn anything about these for a while. Uh, Can-Am just tells us that one is a, you know, a dual sport adventure style bike and the other is clearly a commuter. We don't know anything about specs, about battery size, wattage, anything like that. But what they do tell us is that both of these motorcycles will offer a high performance LED headlight. And they say that this will be a unique looking headlight, something um, that becomes a signature look for the brand. They do tell us that these bikes will offer level two charging, means there'll be some ability to charge these bikes that's faster than plugging into a regular 110 outlet, which is pretty standard. Both of these bikes, and I would imagine the entire lineup, will use Can-Am's Rotax e-Power. That's about all we're gonna get told until August 2023. Now Can-Am says they're going to give us the specs of these bike bikes in August 2023, but that the bikes won't be available until mid 2024. So let's hope this all goes to plan guys. But as we've seen with macro issues, supply chain problems, stuff like that, um, everything's pretty much being backed up. So I will be surprised if we see these before 2025, but we can hope for the best. Now, now, some of you guys are probably thinking, oh gosh, it's another electric vehicle that we see photos of that never actually makes it to market. Uh, if, if this was a startup, I would say you're right. But this being BRP, I would say there's an extremely good chance that these actually come to market, which is exciting. Last year, BRP committed to investing $300 million over five years to electrify its existing product lines by 2026, guys. That's pretty crazy. Um, in 2019, if you remember, they bought a bunch of EV tech from uh, Alta Motors and uh, launched some electric go-karts or something. So hopefully we get some more teasers, we get some more information before August 2023, but if we don't, come back next year, I'll tell you everything I know. Thanks so much, guys. Get excited. Bunch of cool new stuff coming. See you in the next video.